Hello, this is Dr. Lorenz at Longevity Health Institute in Rochester Hills, Michigan here. Hope you're well. I hope you're having a good summer post-July 4th. I uh, hope you had a great few days off, a uh, long weekend, enjoyed some vitamin D um, out there, and finally we got some good weather, right? So, um, so listen, here we're back at it. I want to tell you about a study that just came out last month talking about something that's very refreshing. I've been addicted myself. Many of you out there uh, might even have this same addiction or this same uh, drive for something that's very refreshing and often in the, in the warmer climates and warmer weather, and that is diet sodas, uh, diet pops. Uh, particularly for me in the past, it was Diet Coke. Man, I can't tell you how many I used to have as a resident, as a young physician, um, lived on Diet Coke. And I mean, literally 50, 60, 70 ounces. Um, obviously the caffeine effects I probably love back in my residency and that, but also um, you get slightly addicted because of some of the uh, sugar responses, even though they're artificial sweeteners. So just last month in the neurologic journal called Stroke, uh, just in 2019 that just came out, uh, there's a study that confirmed that there's a big association between artificial sweeteners um, and dementia. And you know we're passionate here about long-term memory conditions, cognitive decline, longevity, obviously. Um, and so we focus on some of these with our patients. And believe it or not, we're seeing this rates younger and younger. So you don't have to be 70, 80 years old now to start noticing a little bit of memory decline. Um, obviously, we cover a lot of functional modalities here in medicine that play a big role into memory, um, sharpness, acuity, focus, concentration, etc., and maintaining your brain um, mass and that with aging, because that is something that happens, is the brain shrinks and actually recall in some simple um, cognitive uh, things that we take for granted on every day can, uh, can start to slip. But in this study, it showed that particularly um, uh, aspartame and some of the other artificial sweeteners, there was a big rise in dementia. Um, now, there's been other studies that have showed higher rates of diabetes, higher rates of stroke um, with uh, um, artificial sweeteners, but aspartame particularly was associated in this study. So, uh, you know, just because you're getting a diet, uh, meaning non-calorie, um, no sugar type of artificial uh, soda pop drink, um, and it feels great because it's warm and hot out and humid and something cold and ice like that feels wonderful, does not mean it's any better than just grabbing a regular Coke, regular soda pop. Now, I'm not uh, recommending that at all, um, but I want you to be enlightened by why you might have this drive and craving for it and some alternatives you can do, but also the importance of um, um, understanding why these things work in your body, why you might feel like you need them, and also to avoid them so that you can keep the noggin good. Uh, and, uh, you know, as we age, we age gracefully. And, uh, you know, as you, we know the rates, the data is there, the support is there to show that um, it's going to be an epidemic, epidemic, excuse me. Um, and that is Alzheimer's, dementia, earlier cognitive decline in our the next 20 years. So aspartame is that fake artificial sweetener that's in Diet Coke, for instance. Um, it's actually over 200 times sweeter than natural sugar. Um, you actually get a bigger insulin um, response, so you can get hyperinsulin conditions, and there is an association then to long-term type 2 diabetes. But really the drive that people often like with these drinks, besides obviously being cold and refreshing, um, is yes, that connection, that neural hormonal connection of drive and habitual stuff that you get with sugars because you get on the sugar insulin roller coaster, but is also they put a D, um, or excuse me, L phenylalanine in it. That's an amino acid, phenylalanine, not necessarily something bad, but phenylalanine can help with raising dopamine in your brain and helping with brain energy um, and focus and drive mentally. Um, so people with ADD or a little bit of brain fog, a little bit of need that pick me up, it's not just the caffeine they're getting, it's actually that phenylalanine. Well, you can take amino acids like phenylalanine. We have actually a few wonderful supplements here at Longevity uh, Health Institute that actually have L-phenylalanine in it. 
and other amino acids that stimulate brain function and can help you be a little bit sharper, keep you a little bit more um, sustainable mental energy throughout the day. And they're natural versus drinking a diet soda that has this dementia risk and it also has this potential type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance type of um, uh, damage to your body, to your brain, which ultimately can even be damaged further to your heart and neurologic system. So keep that in mind. Um, there's many amino acids and good supplements that help drive brain function. And be, when you balance the neurologic system like neurohormonal system and hormones like we're experts in, and I have thousands of patients that obviously our focus is one of our functional focuses on hormone replacement and hormonal balance um, because that's a very delicate art of keeping your hormones balanced so that you can actually uh, experience wonderful, wonderful immune energy, brain, heart, health benefits um, from these, um, but in the right way, then you won't feel like you need um, something like a diet soda, like a diet pick-me-up, like a, um, a, a an artificial sweetener that again has shown these these recent risks. So hopefully that's educating you a bit about um, the brain, negative things to diet pops, diet sodas. I actually had a, a patient just last week kind of have a little bit of an um, uh, uh, argument with me or kind of a debate, I should say more, that um, yeah, it wasn't a big deal. You got to have some vices um, and, you know, and, and I wouldn't disagree here and there. Um, it's like alcohol. You know, we know alcohol is tied um, to a lot of risks. Uh, but probably in, in slight mild mild moderation, there might be some benefits um, and not risks. Um, but the problem is, is when you use something like an artificial sweetener, and this was my debate with him, that you're actually potentially feeding a system of craving reward. So it's like risk, reward, risk, reward, risk, reward, and it's hard to get off that hamster wheel. So. Uh, you know, we're happy here to help you with anything neurologic, neurohormonal, um, neurocognitively. Um, actually, uh, our expertise in that, we meet uh, very good systematic effects with hormones and neurotransmitters, and then you get the full brain body benefit. Um, take home message get off of sugar, use stevia, a natural plant based sugar, very, very sweet. Stevia is safe. Um, or drink a lot of water, tea iced tea, green tea, um, etc., kombuchas, other cold or refreshing drinks. Um, most of us don't drink enough water. You should at least get half your weight in water in ounces a day. Um, so use that insightfully uh, and, and uh, live um, purposefully and uh, get off <laughs> the diet sodas. Uh, this is Dr. Lorenz, Longevity Health Institute. Be well, always here to help you, and be happy to. Bye-bye.